Hello, I'm Peter Rodgery, and welcome to my report from West Kirby and Hoylake on the British coastline. A shot here of the central roundabout that goes through Hoylake, where cars, people and trees are seen. That is a church located near the central roundabout of Hoylake. Over there is Hoylake train station building. And to the right of this shot, you can see a level crossing which cars and trains use. I've come to the side of the road to fill the central road through the town. Cars and motorcycles going by. That's what roads are built for, believe it or not. And there's a bus stop on the side. Now I'm heading towards the beach, but I stopped on the way to film a miscellaneous street junction. There's a and b over there, and a car. A miscellaneous church. The Green Lodge Hotel. It's on the internet. I'm endorsing it without their permission. But it's good publicity, so I don't think they'll complain. This is Royal Liverpool Golf Course that hosted the 2006 British Open, which of course, unsurprisingly, was won by Tiger Woods, who won it here. That is a lighthouse on the road which I've just walked down past the golf course. No entry to cars, but entry to everyone else as many people have picnics, some bathe and do things on the sandy beach. And even dogs walking around. Now I've made it down to the beach. Over there to the east you can see Hoy Lake. The tide is certainly out. Yes, the Irish see in the distance there as people enjoy the sand. Over there you can see Hillbury Islands. A great day excursion for any visitor, it is safe to say. That admittedly is the main Hillbury Island, and if you're not careful, you can die because you have to check the times for the tides. Very Juni landscape here, as we see many tourists and locals enjoying the warm weather. Yes, overgrown grass and heather here, but what a beautiful sight. More hills here. I bet those houses are worth an absolute bomb to buy. Don't worry, I have the slightest interest in purchasing one. It's very boggy and marshy in places as well. If you put your foot in it, it'll get wet. Believe me. Seeing that makes my heart warm as I move my camera up to the bench, which is designed for people to sit on. You can see a parachute in the distance there, as hundreds of people flock to West Kirby Beach to get some rays and have some fun. The golf course is just over the hills, incidentally. I'm now going to zoom into this golfer, and my hope is that he'll fuck up his shot. Okay, jinx! Where we'll never know for sure what actually happened, but I'm rather optimistic. Ah, I can never go out on a day without visiting this place. This here is the marina, where various yachts and kayaks are used. But people also come here to sunbathe on the warmest days of the year, like this one. I hope he falls in. The rescue service are there in case anyone gets into any trouble. Yes, more sun worshippers here on West Kirby Beach. And there aren't many more days all year where there'll be more on it. Yes, over there are the Welsh Hills. A fascinating sight. 
Well, I at least have to sound enthusiastic, don't I? The water looks very dirty. My assumption is people have urinated in it. Morrison's supermarket there for people that need to shop for stuff. That over there is the main building that houses the ice cream store, the toilets and all the boating equipment. A very busy shot here from the central streets of West Kirby. Cars piling up from every direction. I'm glad I came on the train. Incidentally, the train station building is that one to the left. That over there is the library and recreational centre, which includes a swimming pool. But don't return your books to the swimming pool, because paper and chlorine don't mix too well. It's all rather self-explanatory. I've just reached a train station, as I'm now about to leave West Kirby. At least until next time. Yes, this is Peter Roger reporting from West Kirby in Europe.